back at Ascot here for the first race of day two on the National Hunt Week 5. It's the Ascot Hurdle. It's a grade two, two mile three furlongs. Our Connie, Ryan Tamasebi, Angel or Demon, Joshua Sutherland, Faris Ting for Davy Ladd. Hebra Wars, Ryan Costello, Ingleby Fandango for Davy Ladd, Lixnor, Darren Thompson, Rave Express, Greg Beckwith, Sayashan Value, Ryan Costello, Stop Messing Around, Leon Van Rensburg, Ben Assessies, Ryan Tamasebi, Blossom Tree for Jim Murray, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Graham Clutterbuck, Elevation, Leon Van Rensburg, Glowing Shrew, James Shea, House of the Wolf, Joshua Sutherland, Popular Class for David Hooley's your favourite today, Raphael Amilet, Craig Allen, She's Far Ted for Graham Clutterbuck, and Zep Novell completes the lineup for Jim Murray, 19 runners. Here we are, that's got hurdle. So two mile three furlongs. So a lot of these horses maybe going over a slightly short trip, although I could just be speaking for my two. Our Connie, who's that early leader and a grade one winner in week one. Very unlucky in the hands, Grace, with two bad mistakes when push came to shove at the final two flights. But she uh, she needs the two mile four furlong trip, as does my other runner, Ben Assessi. So it'll be interesting to see what this shorter trip means. Once they come towards the business end of the race, popular class gone off the favourite for David Hooley, but that one in its uh, runs today has really stayed on and looked really strong in the final one to two furlongs over two mile four. So it'll be interesting to see how that one gets on over this shorter trip. Same can be said for Raphael Amilet as well, who has looked outpaced at some of these shorter trips and really does like two mile four furlong plus on softer ground. So it's fascinating race here as our Connie has a lead of a good three to four lengths and is going to set the pace here um, but not a lightning quick pace you'd imagine should maybe have gone a bit faster to really turn this into a test of stamina as they come past the stands and what will be the winning post in a circuit time our connie has a lead of a good six lengths over stop messing around racing over towards the middle of the track the two joshua sutherland runners house of the wolf and angel or demon are racing side by side nearer to the rail just in behind those we've got uh Blossom Tree for Jim Murray, Zep Novell, the, the stable mate, racing widest of all as they start swinging right-handed. And that one probably will be racing two mile four furlongs today for the Jim Murray stable. Bare Necessities just in behind that chasing pack towards the rear of the field. We've got Glowing Shrew, Ingleby Fandango, Raffaella Milet, and the favourite popular class all being held up towards the rear of the field. So 11 furlongs left to travel as they come to the next flight of hurdles. Our Connie steadied herself and got over it well enough. Stop messing around has come over towards the near side and is chasing that one down in second place but still has a good four or five lengths to make up on the leader as they come to the next flight of hurdles. Our Connie perhaps not fully confident after that poor round of jumping over in uh, Fairy House for the Hatton's Grace. Just was very cautious and hesitant over that one but got over it well enough. Our, uh, stop messing around. Still about five or six lengths back in second. Our Connie much better attack that one in the lead. Angel or Demon is now in second place. Rave Express making some progress on the outside of that one into second. Popular Class being ridden along towards the rear of the field. The Black Horse and the All Purple Silks for David Hooley. Raffaella Milet and Glowing Shrew have got a good 25 lengths plus to make up on this leader as we come in the final seven and a half furlongs. So looking back towards the rear of the field as well, we've got the two Ryan Costello runners, Sayashan Value, Hebra Wars, there in the green and white stripes there, the two that are racing just in front of Popular Class in those all blue silks. Ingleby Fandango is one that's being pushed along towards the rear of the field. A poor jump in the middle of the pack by Elevation, that's the outsider of the two Leon Van Rensburg runners. And our Connie was again quite hesitant over that one. No serious mistakes from the horse so far, but it's just been a bit slow over a couple of flights of hurdles and the jockey is now getting to work on it. I'm going to start to try and stretch them out. Gets over that one well enough. Stop messing around, put in a really eye catching leap. Made some good progress, but then the jockey just had a little tug of the reins doesn't want it to go to the front too soon. So, our Connie, the jockey's really trying to stretch them out now and is going to try and make. And this is a real test of stamina, given we know she stays the two mile four furlong. So it's our Connie that has the lead, but also has some weight to carry here in this grade two. Kicks on away from House of the Wolf, Angel or Demon. Forest Ting's trying to get going. So it's bare necessities on the outside. The stable mate of our Connie. So into the final. Well, we're about to hit the two furlong marker, and our Connie has a lead over bare necessities. The lead's about five or six lengths as we come to the furlong and a half marker. It's our Connie that still has the lead. Gets over it safely, got in a bit close. Bare Necessities trying to chase down Faris Ting, stop messing around the two Joshua Sutherland runners are staying on but our Connie's the one they've all got to catch look over the left shoulder just to see what's coming, the answer's nothing, our Connie has got a lead of a good few lengths here and can ease down coming to the line but here comes Bare Necessities flashing home, it's a 1-2 for Ryan Tamasebi but 
Our Connie supremely confident as they approach in the line. Perhaps didn't realise how quickly the stable mate was finishing the black horse coming down the centre of the track, which is where it cosily enough in the end. And our Connie went off favourite in the end. All the money came down. She's won there, six pounds being given away to the stable mate Bear Necessities and wins it well enough. So our Connie bounces back from uh, a disappointment in the Hatton's Grace with those two mistakes putting paid to her chances. Comes back in fine style to win the uh, Ascot Hurdle here from stable mate Bear Necessities. Far as Ting, late headway to finish third for Davy Ladd and Joshua Sutherland comes fourth or fifth with his two runners, Angel or Demon and uh, House of the Wolf.